Today we're gonna be looking at the top five most overpowered guns in Modern Warfare 2. Now let's go check it out, guys. We got some guns on this list that I don't normally use too much. We got the Cast Off 545, the Cast Off 74U, the SPX 80, which is a gun that I've never actually used until like a day ago, but it's so dang good. And then we got some other stuff as well, like the ISO 45 and the MP7. So guys, let's check it out. These guns are insane. We're gonna go into every single class and I'll show you guys all of them, the best classes for them, and you guys are gonna love these. Go off with people and do what you gotta do. And I want to get into the ISO 45 class first because basically it's a gun that I never really showed you guys yet. I never showed you guys a class for it, but I've been using it a lot. And the first attachment for this one is going to be the X10 RR40 for the muzzle. And this one's good because you get sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. So it's really nice. It makes the gun really accurate, but you do lose some ADS and all that. In the tuning on this one, I haven't touched it yet. I'm going to show you guys what I do for my tuning. And we're actually, instead of the recoil smoothness, we're going to put the ADS just slightly up to 0.64 and then we're going to go down to the bullet velocity and we're going to put that up to around 0.62 again like i always say if you don't get it exactly on these numbers as long as you're close to it you're good you don't have to worry about that too too much i know it's hard to sometimes get the exact number and it's annoying to just play around with the scroll wheel and stuff but it is what it is the seven inch x raptor v2 seven inches like I mean, you're packing bro this is a good barrel that you definitely want to use you get ads speed movement speed and hip recoil control so this one's awesome it's really nice to use and it just makes you really overall faster so for the recoil for the recoil god dang what am i saying i'm tired man all right it's monday <laughs> for the tuning we're gonna put the recoil up to about right i think i think it's right here somewhere around 0.34 i, I had it at 0.36 last time i can't get it exactly there right now but it is what it is and instead of the ads we're gonna put the damage up to 0.15 it's gonna be solid right there it's gonna be really nice next off we're gonna run all right don't don't judge me on this okay the cronin mini dot for some reason it just looks nice on this gun the iron sight on this gun is is really ugly so this is definitely something i recommend you're going to go into the tuning put it all the way to close and then we're also going to put the ads up on this one to around 2 2.04 wherever i could get it 2.04 is going to do and it's not going to be too bad and then we got the mace 650 for the stock for aiming stability and recoil control so that recoil control is what we really want on there and luckily we don't have to worry about losing it in the tuning because we're just going to throw the ads of this one up to 2.72 and we're going to leave the bottom line as is no need to mess with that one and then the a30 stock out my cat is here what's up all right i'm gonna try to continue the a30 stout for the rear grip she, she's gone she's gone i can't have her up here though she she always presses stuff on my keyboard and it stops the recording yeah this is my third time recording this for real the a30 stout just for recoil control in the tuning what i like about this one is you don't need to mess with the recoil too much because we're already getting it and you also get the option for sprint to fire she's back again see she pressed something and now i got no volume in my game what what the Hello? There it is. So we're gonna put the ADS up on this one. We could kind of max it out. Like if you guys see the little bar there, maxing it out actually works out on this attachment. And then the sprint to fire, we're gonna go ahead and bring that up to around 0.35. If you could get to around this number, you're actually pretty solid right there. And that is the class for it right here. Next off is the cast off 545. Again, I've given you guys this class already, almost exactly the same class as this, I believe. And I wanna say like, you gotta use the cast off 545. I'm just gonna go into the firing range right away to show you guys this. Like it, look at that. It, it, this thing just drops the enemies in literal seconds and it, it's just it's such a good class at every single range so and instead of going into the attachments i'm just going to show you guys the tuning for it because i don't want to waste your time i've already given you guys this one before so you guys could just take a look as i scroll through here take the tunings go ahead don't don't get it exact it doesn't matter too too much and this one's kind of the optional attachment you could run this one but if you don't like it i'm telling you right now it gives you sprint to fire and ads right here the laser but if you don't want to run the laser because as you can see the only pro is ads ADS speed you could go in and throw on a magazine i would recommend the 45 not the 60 but if you want more bullets go ahead and do it the cronin mini dot is going to be the same this one is really nice and i actually like using it right there and then we got the true tack grip for the rear grip this is the tuning on that one right there so that's the class for it now i want to get into the spx 80 a gun that i actually didn't use much and there's no tuning on this so i mean you guys could just pause the screen right here and take it for what it is there is no tuning on this because i'm only level 11 out of 20 i think i've only played with this for three games 
so far, but it is a solid gun and I can't wait to tune it. Like if you guys have any tuning or any class that's better than this for this weapon, let me know, man. Cause like this, this is actually a fun sniper. Uh, I like it a lot. I don't know why. It's just, it's really fun to use the SPX 80. It's just, it's good. You know, it's all good fun. And uh, here's my, my Vaznev class. I mean, this is not part of the top five, but if you want it, go ahead and take it. I mean, it is what it is. You guys can go ahead and pause that right there. Next off, we got my favorite weapon in the game and that is the cast off 74u this gun is so good again i gave you guys this class but it has to make it into the top five it has to make it here because it's so good because the 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 class is just balanced perfectly if we go into here you guys are going to see exactly what i mean so the recoil on this if you control it i don't know why i jumped i'm so why did i <sighs> all right so if you control it as you guys can see, it is solid. It stays exactly where you shoot it. And then you go here and then close range, dead, mid range, dead. And then when you get to that long range, it might be a little harder to control. But again, if you hit those first few shots and the next ones follow through on target, it, he's going to be dead. This is this class is gross. All right, you got to use it, man. So the FJX Falcon Pro, which gives us vertical and horizontal recoil control, kind of makes this gun pretty nice. This is the tuning for it right here. Recoil stabilization at 0.65 and recoil control at 0.23. You got to actually tune it for these and that's what makes this gun really nice the barrel is the br209 for movement speed and ads like i said we're going to balance this out for speed and for recoil control so it's going to work out nicely the tuning is going to be recoil settings i think i had that maxed out or at 0.47 there's no there's no real difference i mean if you want to max it out max it out and then the ads at 0.32 is awesome as well the atrazat stock which is awesome it's good you get sprint speed and you get aim walking speed which is nice but in the tuning is what i like a lot more because you could even tune that ads to be even faster and then the bottom tuning i wouldn't really mess with that then we got the true tack grip for the rear grip you get sprint to fire and ads and then in the tuning on this one we got ads at 0.48 and sprint to fire at 0.32 and then we got the 45 round mags you can't tune this one but it is what it is now this mag is made for the small maps if you're not playing the small maps you don't really need to run this mag and then what i would recommend instead is throw on a laser that just gives you ads like the schleiger peck box four or five i don't know my roman numerals that's one of them right there and then you guys can go ahead and tune that to make it quicker and stuff you don't have to worry too much the recoil control is going to stay the same and it's pretty dang nice going to the final weapon on this list we got the mp7 i keep forgetting the vel 46 i keep forgetting its actual name i always call it the mp7 i don't even look at the name anymore and this is the class for it right here so the cronin mini dot or mini pro i should say rather than the cronin mini dot the cronin mini pro on this gun just looks a little nicer the tuning is going to be max out close and ads at 2.23 then we got the tango 228 barrel this one's good because you get that damage range hit by your accuracy and bullet velocity i'm going to show you guys something in the in the actual firing range in a second so you can understand understand how this gun is the recoil steadiness at 0.34 and the damage range at 0.23 then the, we got the lacerta lacerta i'm not sure how it's pronounced the compensator right here for horizontal recoil control and in the reason i'm using this rather than vertical is because i find the vel 46 the vertical recoil is so easy to control anyways that you don't need to worry about that too too much and then the tuning on this one's going to be recoil stabilization at 0.41 and recoil control at 0.21 and then we got the 50 round mags again you can't really tune this one i wouldn't recommend this it makes the gun too slow it makes the reloading too long and your sprint to fire is just way off so definitely gonna run the 50 it is slower with the 50 but hey at least you got some extra bullets in there and then the schleiger soldier grip for the rear grip for sprint to fire and ads the tuning on this is ads 0.55 and sprint to fire 0.23 so i'm gonna show you guys the firing range right here with this gun it is solid and with this sight i mean you don't need to run the sight you can run a laser instead i just like running the sight on it because it's just you know i don't know it's just a lot easier so those first first bunch of shots stayed here and then when i kind of let go of the joystick you see it went up like that so right there just to show you guys it's so easy to control the vertical recoil and then once you let go it does actually go up so you don't need to put that on to control or anything so then you go here you shoot he's dead you shoot he's dead and then this one right here i always like to take my time for those longer shots you shoot yeah i missed a lot all right you, you guys get it. if i hit one more bullet he would have been dead okay you, online it's not the same as in the firing range but you guys get it if you did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like sub to the channel if there's no turn on thank you guys for watching my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one peace